All right, so let's try an inbound call coming in, and I'm going to transfer that call to another extension. Just so you see the call coming in, I double click on it, and now I can hit that transfer icon on the call manager. I'll click that, and now I'm going to type the name SERV for server, and I'm going to click on server room. And again, if I click on transfer, that's going to send the calls straight to the phone. If I click on consult, I'm going to talk to them first. So I'm going to hit the consult key so that I can uh, talk to them first. And you'll see how it'll interact on the display of the, the call manager as well as the, um, the phone. Okay, so you can see there are two lines here. The first line is the call that I was on and the second line is the call that I'm currently connected to which is the server room. That's the person I'm talking to. So you notice on the phone you're going to see the same thing. You see the, the top one is the call that's on hold and it's flashing. And on the bottom one you'll see it's green and it has the extension number and the name of the person I'm currently talking to. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I've announced myself and I said, would you like to take this call? They said yes. So I hit the transfer key or I can hit the, uh, the, the transfer key on the phone as well and I'm going to hit transfer and that call is now released from my phone as well as it's released from the call manager. So that's how you would transfer a call with what we call a consultative transfer. So uh, go ahead and call me one more time and we'll, we'll do a, another one. Okay, again the call's coming in. I could hit this little green icon as well. You notice I have an icon right next to that that says to voicemail. If I don't want to take that call, uh, maybe it's a, a pesky salesperson, then, then I can go and click on to voicemail and that call goes straight to my mailbox. So I'm going to click on answer just so you can see that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the transfer key again, but this time when I dial the extension number, I'm going to put, in the, uh, I'm going to put the extension number in. That's 249. See, and I'm going to click on it, and this time I'm just going to hit the transfer key. So if I hit the transfer key, boom, the call is immediately off my computer, it's off my phone, and it's ringing the phone, and I transfer that call, what they call a blind transfer. So that's how you transfer a call to the phone. Uh, the conferencing is really similar to transferring calls. So we're going to do a conference call, and it's set up exactly the same way as, as a transfer. So go ahead and call me again, and, and we'll watch the call come in. As the call comes in, again, I'm double-clicking on it, and now I, I just hit this conference key, which is the handset with a plus, so let me show you what that looks like, and I've got that same window. I'm going to dial the extension number because I already know who I want to talk to. I click on it, and I'm going to hit, instead of, I'm going to hit consult again because I really want to talk to that person to bring them into the conference, so there we go. So you see the icons look the same. The display is the same as he answers the call. Go ahead and answer it. And now I just hit the conference key, and now you'll notice all three of us are talking, but it's a little bit different this time. You'll notice um, I have an icon next to the bar home, and I have a, an icon next to the server room that allows me to disconnect them. What that does is it allows you to drop one party on the conference without having to disconnect the entire conference. Uh, you know, sometimes that happens when uh, you get a cell phone call and, and you're conferencing someone on their cell and they get in a bad area. So now what do you have? You have a problem with, uh, with voice quality. So everyone always just hangs up and has to start over. Well, we don't have to do that. We just click on that. And if we look at the phone, the phone has the same idea. It has what's called a show key. So I'm going to press the show key on the telephone. And you'll see it, it now splits the screen and lets me see both parties. And I can just scroll with the little scroll key on the phone and hit that drop key. So if I hit the drop key, boom, I now have one party. And if you notice on the call manager itself, you're going to see that we have one party connected. So the phone and the PC work identically the same. Um, and it works very well for a conference. So that's a basic transfer. That's a basic conference uh, as well as how you take it and make a call.